Good day, grade 10s. Today we're going to look at magnetic and non-magnetic material. But what are magnets? How do they work? Let us look at this little video. Magnets. One magnet either repels or attracts another. And nobody knows why. Naturally occurring minerals were found to attract iron in the ancient Greek region of Magnesia, and so were aptly named for the area. And these rocks were found to either attract or repel one another. One way to understand magnets is through magnetic domains. You see, unmagnetized iron metal is composed of a whole bunch of tiny little crystal magnets called domains. And they're randomly oriented, pointing in all different directions. But magnetized iron has all the domains aligned. That is, it has a north side and a south side. And that orientation is what allows it to become a magnet. During the magnetization process, the domains flip suddenly. This flipping can be made audible. I have here a small piece of nickel, which I'm placing inside of this coil of wire. Any rapid changes in magnetic field will sound on this speaker here. I also have a very strong magnet, which I placed on the north end of this little magnet. When I bring it close to the nickel, listen. Right, now that was a very good lesson that showed us exactly what magnets are. And just to remind us, the things that he said were that iron, nickel, and cobalt are your three 
types of magnetic material and it's because the electron arrangement or the spins of the electrons but you don't need to know that but they do have to know that they have north and south sides now non-magnetic material are for example we've got over here we've got our natural materials such as our trees our wood we've got paper and we've got zinc now these are all non-magnetic material now let's you look at the uses of magnets well obviously a first and obvious use of magnets other than picking up things that we've dropped is that we can use it as a compass because the one side of the magnet always points to magnetic north which means that we can always find where north is if we have a compass. Other uses of magnets which you will learn about in a couple of years are the one of them is that they can be used in a motor or a generator which is used in everyday cars. Also magnets are actually used inside of speakers that when you see the speaker vibrating especially in the old thank you great tens have a great day